people. It's Greg, aka Jimmy Cinnamon Throat. I'm chilling with my man, Most Def. Peace, peace. He's in the big seat. I'm in the little seat. Like this. It's appropriate. So what's going on? Oh, this is the big seat. It's see, the that, that's yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Fresh Prince of Bel Air seat. Okay. How you doing? I like the Nixon watch. Thank you. I'm out here with TBG on People's, repping their line, doing some work, good work with them. Tell us more about the line. Well, basically, um, uh, you know, they started out in the 90s, um, two black guys, you know, uh, very strong, very uh, message oriented, Jim Crow couture, and I'm excited about it. I like what the line has to say. I mean, you've always been a political, you know, someone who doesn't just Everybody's make... Everybody's political. Everything is political. Even even apolitical people are political. Speaking of that, what do you think of what's going on right now? And the Obama's killing it. You're an Obama fan, a Hillary I've fan? I've always been an Obama fan. You know, I don't, I don't agree with everything that he's had to say. I certainly prefer him over Hillary Clinton. And not because he's black or because she's a woman. I just think that if Hillary was really as interested in the welfare of the country as she says, she could easily run as vice president. And I would change the world. I just think that, uh, you know, it's a new form of dynasty. For the Clintons to be, for Clinton to be in office again, we don't need it. You know, we need somebody that's not embedded in that way. As much as I think the Clintons have been good for America in the past, it's like, we don't need dynasties. We don't need people to pull no, lever just because of the same last And night. I'm not big on Bill Clinton. I don't care how many times he went on Arsenio and played the saxophone. And, fuck that. I just like Obama. He looked better than them dudes. I mean, he appeals to my vanity. He also appeals to my humanity. How does he appeal to your vanity? He looks good. He looks good in a suit. His wife looks good. His kids look good. He's a good writer. He's like a modern day. He was on Bobby the Kennedy. cover of Men's Vogue. Uh, that, he was on the cover right of Bob. There, he, was, I definitely got he, went, he was on Tyra. I, I saw Tyra slip a number to him at the end I'm of the I'm sure. Interview. I see Tyra, yo, you know, if you ever Blame. in L.A., you bored, holler, it's Tyra. You know. You right. know, I, 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 I want to see that. You know, I don't want to see them international moments like George Bush going to Germany trying to give the chancellor a massage. Merkel? It's terrible. Especially if you've ever seen her face. Yo, the way that she jumped, she was like, I, I was like, oh, man, that's no good. You go to Australia and call them Austrians, like, that's just not what's popping. I'm just saying, you that's know what I'm saying? Okay, look, the policies is wrong, Iraq or whatever. But, yo, you can't even get the basic geography right? I'm not thing, down with that. I mean, the thing is, the Iraq policy is completely fucked up. But even if it was the right thing or the wrong thing, the dude cannot articulate at all what the hell he's trying to he do. He called Australians Austrians. It's Yo, fucking ridiculous. If we have any Australians in here right it's now. It's completely fucking unacceptable. That's never happened in the history of American politics ever. It's the worst moment ever. What the fuck? Believe me, that's, there's, that's one How of the How you going to go to Australia and call them... Austrians, what kind of stoner shit is that?